What is up guys, Fahir here from awesomedudes.com and today's topic is, well, on my mind for some time and that is what it takes to be a game developer and I said game developer but basically this is or this applies to everything like game developer, coder, programmer overall. Now before I start to talk about that, I have to promote my webinar, my live event that's coming up this Sunday. So sign up, I will put the link below, make sure you sign up. I don't usually do live events like these. I do these short ones where if I talk about five minutes, 10 minutes or so, looking if somebody has joined us, nobody so far, looking forward to you guys. Anyways, uh, I will put a link in the description below, sign up for the live event, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna talk about how you can build games like a pro, even if you never learned, or even if you never typed a line of code before in your life, I'm gonna give you the ways how you can go from even if you never learned or even if you never typed a line of code before in your life, I'm gonna give you the ways how you can go from nothing to being a pro game developer. So make sure that you sign up for that live event webinar over there. Now, in regard to the topic that I am gonna talk right now, that is what it takes to be a game developer. Now, in terms of it's really hard that you you know continually push through your game development or programming or whatever that you are doing because sometimes you lose motivation. That's the reason why I sent out all those videos or actually those emails, motivational emails where I'm telling things like, you know, how to motivate you, how can you pass some certain things. I'm telling the obstacles that you are facing and the reason why i'm talking about this and hi guys 11 11 people just watching hi what are you doing anyways uh the reason why i am i am telling you this is the other day i received like a complaint in one of my emails it's like one guy was offended i'm not gonna say his name or anything but he was like offended in terms of you don't know me how you saying i have this obstacle that obstacle so on and so forth and you know he's like i i'm i have unsubscribed because of that well everything that i write in my emails is based upon what you guys told me if you remember i've surveyed over 400 of you guys for those of you if somebody's watching this from the people who actually filled out the survey and the questions there and i talked with more than 40 of you one-on-one -on -one online and I saw the struggles that you have. So I had those same struggles. Basically, I have my doubts when I started to learn how to code. I thought that I cannot do it. I thought that I'm not, you know, that, that I'm not made for that, that I'm dumb, that, that I cannot understand. And a lot of beginners who start out have those same issues. And I'm writing about those issues. So I'm not writing about something that I made up. I'm writing the things that I went through, that every developer went through while he was learning how to code and make games. And basically, a lot of you who complained, what are their obstacles? What difficulties are they facing? They mentioned these things, especially in regards to coding. So it's a really good thing when you have somebody to motivate you. I did not have nobody. I had to motivate myself to keep pushing. I, I wanted to quit at some point because it's really hard to you know continue when you see that you're working, 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 but you still are not figuring out how things are working. So my advice to guys who are going through this, just don't give up. You will eventually get to the point where you will learn if you stick with it enough. So you will eventually get to that point. Just don't give up. But my point is if you want to, if you want me to share my doubts or, or things how that I had that I was doubting in when I started to code and learn to code and how to make games, just subscribe to that email, subscribe to my email list. In, on my website because I'm sending emails every day, you know, regular, like three or four emails per week. I'm sending that to motivate you to keep pushing forward, telling you the obstacles that I faced and how I overcome them so that you can do that same thing. What is up, guys, you in the comments. So basically, that is what I wanted to talk about because it was, you know, that guy did not really understand what I was doing because it really takes a lot of, you, you need to be, sure in yourself so you don't have to you if you doubt in yourself that's when you have difficulties i'm trying to take away that from you know with my emails with these videos i'm trying to you know make you believe in yourself that you can do it because that's the first step in succeeding in how to code and make games and even today when i'm working on some project that is complex you know i get to the point oh boy this is hard 
and I, you know, should I stop it? Should I start something else? And then I come back to it and then I finish it. And I have a graphic designer who is working with me and he's like that as well. I tell him to do something and he's like, you know, this is, this is not possible that you're asking. And I'm always like, man, this is one of those situations where you tell me I cannot do it. And I say, well, you can, and then you do it. And it's basically like that because we all have doubts. Even I today, I'm telling you, I'm telling you this, but I still have some doubts to, you know, sometimes when I'm working some, on some projects and it's, you know, it becomes hard and I'm like, maybe I should quit this. Maybe I should start something else, something more simple. But when I, you know, rest a little bit, have my head clear, I come back to the project and I finish it. So all of you guys that are having struggles, all of you guys that are having problems while you are learning, just don't quit. Just don't give up. If you have doubts, just throw that away because you can do it. Just try it. Just try and push forward and you will do it eventually and you will get to the point where you will grasp how everything works. That happens to me. That will happen to everybody else. And if you want to me to send you motivational emails in regards to that, send you my ways, how I, over, how I overcome those obstacles, the same ones that you're facing, just subscribe to that email and I will send a lot of useful things to you. So this is for this live. This is what I wanted to, well, talk about and hi, Lee. Uh, if somebody has something to ask, that can be quick. I can address some questions here. In the meantime, I'm going to say that I'm going to go live this Sunday. It will be 2 p.m. Pacific time. So 2 p.m. Pacific time and 11 p.m. Central European time. Everybody who or anybody who wants to join me on this live event, it's a really special event. Sign up on the link below. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait for it to happen. And uh, Fahir here from awesometudes.com. Don't see any questions in the comment section. I will see you guys in one of the next live streams. Take care.